Hi, sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Um, I'm gonna be putting on my lipstick. Hold on, give me one second. This is the most rushed I've ever been for a stream. I'm so sorry. I'm a minute late. Let me tell you about what this sequence of events has just been, okay? Hello, everybody. <laughs> and correct Gary Batters, thank you so much for the 17 months. I have not watched Hunger Games yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it soon. I swear. Okay, so I woke up late today. That's how it all starts, right? I wake up late and then I absolutely had to wash my hair today because it was literally like crust, like crust. So I wash my hair, do my shower, all that kind of stuff. And um, of course, I decided that I want to take like 50 years to do it, right? So I'm like taking 5 million years. I'm just, you know, chilling. I'm like, ah, I'll have to do a stream and edit later. I'm fine. I was not fine. And uh, holy cow, that's a lot of stuffed animals. Yeah, hi, welcome. <laughs> so I'm doing all of that. And then um, I end up, what, what, have I, what have I even been doing? I don't know. I don't know what I've been doing since my shower till now, but I decided to start doing my makeup an hour before stream started. And um, yeah, I'm really slow when it comes to doing my makeup. So I quickly I'm trying to rush and I'm like, wait, do I like want to try this new thing? Like I kind of want to try like this new technique, like a TikTok that I saw. Uh, so I was like hmm, debating and I start trying to like half do it. And I'm like, wait, no, I don't have time for this. So then I stop doing that. And then I'm like, OK, let me just finish my makeup. I just got to do my lashes. I just got to go grab them from the bathroom and bring them here and glue them on. So I come here, I bring them on, I bring them to my desk. Um, and then I'm like, okay, let me like start setting up. And I like try to do all these things. I just start turning on my lights and my lights don't want to connect to like the Bluetooth the green bean, the string bean. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the pond. So my lights don't want to connect. And I'm like, okay, this is annoying. I start unplugging them, plugging them back in, refreshing my Bluetooth, all of that. And mind you, my hair is still wet from my shower. So I'm like, okay, I still need to go blow dry my hair and put on my lashes and do my lipstick. So I'm like, okay, let, let's let's try to get this to work, you know? And then the Knotted Frog, thank you so much for the super chat. So Peach Cam doesn't want to work. I'm messing with Peach Cam. I'm, I'm, I'll plug in my lights. I still got to do lipstick and eyelashes. I go get my lashes. I bring them back. I put them here. Finally, I'm like, okay, Peach Cam works. My light only one of them works so I got one of them to work and then I'm like okay let's just put on my lashes and do my lipstick and I look on my desk and there's only one eyelash the other one just completely completely disappeared it's absolutely gone I'm like looking everywhere I'm like where the heck could it go like it's just my desk and the floor that's it where could it go where so it's still lost I still only have the one it's just here so I had to go get a different pair that was in my bathroom and yeah they don't I had to very quickly put them on so yeah I uh had to put on some other random lashes it's Mimikyu changed my user hello hello oh my goodness congrats on the new job kitty ate the lash it's on my wait it's on my sleeve <gasps> you <laughs> oh my goodness that's hilarious that is hilarious so that's been my day i did not finish or i didn't get time to blow dry my hair so i'm sorry my hair looks really like stringy <laughs> but it's just wet from my shower i'm so sorry it's just one of those days you know so let me finish this and uh along with that i did not um time travel back to like our day that we were on in Animal Crossing. So I'll still have to do that. Uh, but anyway, how's everybody else today? How are you guys? <laughs> that was amazing. That is just there. Great. It's like the bread tag all over again, right? <laughs> Summer, thank you so much for the seven months. Hope you have a better day. Thank you. I, it's going to be fine. It's just been like slightly rushed. That's really it. But we've been okay. We've been okay. Eh. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Lipstick acquired. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. So how's everybody else? How are you? How's it going? <laughs> oh my goodness. Venti, thank you so much for the 15 months. I have a story to tell. Today in school, fourth period, the fire alarm went off. I was a really tired fourth period, so I almost slept through it. Oh my goodness. I hope everything was okay. I hope everything's chill. And Blueberry Army, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. 
I haven't played Animal Crossing. Your new 30 day series has got me to start a new island. Yeah, I'm so happy to hear that. Besties. The Switch is dead. Besties, the Switch is dead. Wait, no, this isn't my Leapfrog Switch, is it? Hold on. There's like, I have 50,000 Switches here. Hold on. Where's the other one? I don't know where the other one is. Oh. Okay, here's the other one. No, this is not Leapfrog Switch, is it? Hold on. <laughs> Me just using this as a tablet, like with no Joy Cons. Oh no, this is Leapfrog Switch. Okay, we're good. We're good. This is Leapfrog Switch. I have a, I have our um, what's it called that we just ended off on? Yes, last week. Fish eye, fish eye. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> that has been a day. <laughs> Rip dead switch though. I know, I know. That's the Storybrook switch. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Been loving your 30-day challenge. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the love on it. I, I really do very much appreciate it and i've been having a blast and i'm so glad you guys have been enjoying it and irene thank you so much for the 15 months so happy to catch a stream after a while yes welcome welcome let me try not to make my hair look too stringy okay so where were we last week we were villager hunting of course random thought bubble that i decided to do what day did we end up on i have to go look at the old stream so i don't accidentally autofill that plot that we were working on <laughs> okay let me see if i show the date somewhere so happy that you moved the stream today because i work on mondays now and haven't been able to been here in a bit oh no i'm glad you could catch it yeah it sucks i wish i could like have the streams be perfectly aligned so that everybody could always come to them every single week but Unfortunately, we we have to like do stuff in our lives. Can you believe that? <laughs> and Alex, thank you so much for the super chat. I finished my second year of college. Oh my goodness, congratulations. And I'm so happy for you. Yay. <laughs> is Pepper doing okay? Yeah, Pepper is doing, well, like kind of. He's totally fine, right? He's totally fine. Sorry, I'm trying to find the date that we were on here on our villager hunt. He is totally fine. He's just sneezing and he has like a little bit of snot sometimes like after he sneezes like humans do. So yeah, we took him on Monday. That's why I couldn't stream on Monday. And um, they basically didn't really say like exactly what was causing it. So they were just like, oh, it could be like this. So here's some antibiotics. Uh, so just give them to Pepper. So I've been giving him the antibiotics since Monday. And so far, he's still been sneezing. And like today, he was even doing some weird, like shaking his head and like blowing the snot a little bit. But I think, I'm just assuming, I think that he just, okay, we were on May 6th. I think that he just has like snot from his sneezes and he can't like blow his nose. So he's just like shaking his head to try to get the snot out. I'm not sure, but we're gonna run the course of the antibiotics and see if that helps hopefully i'm hoping they're just taking a little bit to kick in so yeah hopefully he yeah he might just have a cold i don't know maybe it's like allergies or something i'm not really sure like pepper's always been a really good cat when it comes to like not illnesses but like he doesn't really get sick or have anything like wrong with him ever the only thing he's ever had was his one like uti he had like a he had like infection and like his bladder and that was like horrendous that was the most terrible experience ever so thankfully he's fine from that but yeah this has been like a weird thing like just sneezing but yeah and Mathilde thank you so much for the 17 months I'm back here to talk about these villager hunts this behavior is unacceptable was crossing first beardo I held it together and now Piper I'm so sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> I don't know what to say I don't know. I hope I can redeem myself in your eyes someday. <laughs> oh, the sus box. What's in the box? Oh, that's just um, Squishmallows from my Whatnot live stream that I did. I sold some of my, or like all of my extra Squishmallows from like my mystery boxes and all that kind of stuff. Okay, the switch is loading in here. Let me go ahead and sleeve us and we can get started. 15 minutes of me just rambling. I'm so sorry. Okay, hopefully we did not accidentally autofill this. 
Oh, I guess we're getting craving right now. Here, here we go. Here we go. Today's craving. Gummy worms. Gummy worms, besties. I know I've had gummy worms as a craving recently before, but I was just craving them today. <laughs> Sup, fellow Floridian? What's it like in the sweltering heat for you? Trick question. I don't go outside. <laughs> no, but it's been... It's been okay. Like, so far it's been okay. I've been hanging in there. I'm gonna be complaining. Give me, like, another month and I'll be complaining. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into the hunt, please. Please, Animal Crossing gods, don't tell me I messed up this time traveling and auto-filled. Please. Ah, oh, we're good. We're good. We still have the open plot, thank goodness. My first campsite villager on my new island was Beardo. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Can't believe that gorilla is on bear, but at least it kind of suits the theme. No. No. <laughs> I don't care if it suits the theme or not. I want him gone. I want him gone. <laughs> and Irene, thank you so much for the super chat. Good craving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Raven doesn't go outside during the 30-day challenge. Kind of true, though. <laughs> kind of true. Alright, I want to fly. I want to fly. Told you last stream that Violet autofilled on my island and I wanted to update that I got her to move out. Yes, Katie, let's go. I am so happy for you. Goodbye, goodbye. No, I don't want Mayday tickets. Alright, so basically, if you guys weren't here last week, I just randomly decided to kick off... Who do we kick off again? Cousteau. We kicked off Cousteau last week. And I've just been doing a silly little fun villager hunt here on Leapfrog for no reason. Hopefully trying to get just like a cute um, tropical villager for this island. I don't really have like a set list yet. I am i don't really know who we're getting. I don't know who we're looking for. We're just hunting until like someone feels right, you know? I'm just going until we get that feeling, like that instant spark, that connection. So we'll see. We'll see. Ugh, my hair feels so weird. It's like in that state right now where it's like... Some of it's half dry, some of it's still wet, so it's just like, ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> I think I have, like, sensory issues. I think I've realized I've had, like, I have, like, sensory issues when it comes to, like, things being damp or wet or something like that. Um, let, me, let me see this first ticket and then we'll continue. Oh my goodness, and it's a frog. And it's rattle. I mean, that's a good way to start off the stream, you know? He's cute. He's not tropical, but... He's cute. <laughs> and Nick, thank you so much for the super chat and for the kind words. I appreciate it so much. You have a good day as well. But yeah, I I think like when certain, I don't know, like damp things I have issues with sometimes. Like, I think I've talked about this before. If I'm like washing my face or doing something at the sink and one hand is wet and the other hand is dry... If I touch a towel with both hands, I literally want to jump off a cliff. It is the worst feeling ever to touch a towel with one wet hand and one dry hand. So if I have to do it, if it ends up, if I end up with one wet hand and one dry hand, I take the wet hand and I make the dry one wet. Like I have to have both wet. I cannot touch the towel with, with one wet, one dry. It's so bad. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So like that, and I like hate when I get out of the shower and I dry off my body but my hair is wet. And then if my wet hair touches my dry body, I'm like, ah, ah, no. <laughs> so like I always have to like put my towel like on my shoulders and put my hair on top or like just put a shirt on. But even then, like if my hair is dripping wet and it makes the shirt wet, I hate that too. So I gotta like tr start to towel dry my hair a little bit. I think I'm slowly realizing that I have issues when it comes to, like, damp stuff and just things being wet. <laughs> and Reyna, thank you so much for the super chat. Are you going to see The Little Mermaid? I'm not sure if I'm going to go see it in theaters or if I'm just going to wait for it to come out on, like, Disney+, Plus. but I definitely want to see it. I've been seeing the trailers and I'm really excited for it. I have always liked The Little Mermaid, so it looks really cool. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to go see it in theaters because we've been seeing a lot of movies in theaters. So I kind of want to like chill out a little bit, you know. Okay, we have an anteater and I'm going to peace out. The sensation of drying yourself, then one single drop of water goes down your back. It's the worst. Yes, 
absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so that's why, like, my hair being half wet, half dry right now, I'm like, ugh. ugh. Like, usually I air dry my hair and I just, like, don't think about it. But now I'm, like, very hyper aware of it because I have to be on stream with it. <laughs> what are you doing with this island? I am going to be... I'm going to be flattening this island, and we're going to use it as a base, as a clean slate for my next island, my tropical island. I think that's what I've ultimately decided. So yeah, we will be eventually like tearing it all down and everything and kicking out all the villagers and doing new hunts for everybody except for Tangy. But yeah, this is going to be the new island. This is going to be the Florida island. <laughs> I have a towel with a hood, like beach ones, and it doesn't touch. Oh, that is a really, really smart idea. Oh. And Levy Crossing, thank you for the super chat, Bestie. Sounds like you got sensory issues. I think it's specifically when it comes to water, because I don't have issues with anything else. But I, I could. I could. <laughs> and Ella, thank you so much for the seven months. Do you like capybaras? And I just restarted my island. It's spring core. Spring core sounds so fun. I hope you have a blast. Very pretty. And I do like capybaras. They're cute. They're cute. They are cute. <laughs> If you have a Florida island, please do a moist critical setup slash corner. <laughs> Does he live in Florida? That's so funny. And Conlin, thank you so much for the super chat. I got my driver's license yesterday. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. That's absolutely fantastic. I hope you're super proud of that too. Um, I don't have a vaulting pole, which is kind of awkward, but we have Vivian. I would kill for Vivian to be on the 30 day island right now. Like, oh my goodness. I wish he was there. He's a Florida man? I didn't know that. Oh. I'm meeting a capybara soon. So excited. Oh my goodness. Have you watched DOG? Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I was like, what? G-O-T-G. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I haven't watched it yet, so no spoilers. I don't know if it's out yet. Um, But I love that you're meeting a capybara soon. It kind of sounds like you have like an appointment, you know? Like, yeah, I'm going to go meet with my capybara. Uh, I guess I should go get my vaulting pole, huh? I don't know where that is. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> she would make the island so much better, right? Vivian's so cute. I, I love her. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness, a storage shed. I haven't used one of these in a minute. <laughs> Cursed craving? I don't know yet. It still has to come to us. There's my vaulting pole. You need Gale. I was thinking of getting Gale. Or no, I wasn't thinking of getting Gale. I have Gale on this island, but I think we're going to kick her out for Alley or Boots. Boots the alligator. <laughs> have you listened to the K-pop group IVE? Oh, I have not. But you know what? I trust your K-pop taste, Alex, so I will check them out. I've been obsessed with Cupid lately, so... That's been me. Oh, and there's this, oh my goodness, there's this, I think it's a Tomorrow X Together song that I just discovered that I've been literally playing on repeat. Hold on, I'm booting up my Spotify right now because I forget the name of it. Okay, I don't know how how recent this song is, but Loser Lover. <laughs> on repeat, on repeat, absolutely on repeat right now. And Cyber, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey Raven, also have sensory issues. My autism go burr. Haven't got one of your streams in a while. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. And yeah, I, I'm glad you relate. <laughs> it's something, I don't know. Like, I, I never really thought of it until today, right now. Or I guess when I was washing my hands earlier or doing whatever and I had the water situation happen and I was like... I kind of, I just, like, I just realized in that moment, I was like, I have issues with this, <laughs> like, and my hair stuff, so yeah. But I'm doing really well. I hope you are too. We have a rhino. And we leave. And we leave. Okay. And we leave. Maple, I know, I, I want Maple so badly for that island. I hope that we get her. We haven't gotten any bears so far. So, I'm hoping we get some soon. Gotta go. Tomorrow X Together always creates bangers. Yes. I, I really do like them. 
Cursed Craving is the lost eyelash. Ella, you're so right. That's the Cursed Craving. For those of you who didn't join within the first 15 minutes of the stream, basically today I've been in a super rush and I grabbed my eyelashes from the bathroom and I brought them here to put them on. And then I put them onto my desk and then I went to go glue them on and I couldn't find the other one. I couldn't find one of them. And it was literally stuck to my sleeve like this. And I didn't notice until literally everybody in the chat pointed it out. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so yeah, that's the curse craving today. <laughs> oh, amazing. I can relate hard. It took me being diagnosed with ADHD to understand I can be overstimulated. Um, you know, before I thought, before that, I thought I was just a little bit crazy. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad that you were able to get like a diagnosis and just like have that answer kind of, you know? That way it can like help you work towards solving whatever you want to solve you know be be accepting of things all that kind of good stuff are you gonna start a new island in june um yes technically we're not really starting the new island i mean i guess we are it's not like resetting or anything we're just flattening um this island on the switch but yeah pretty much oh my goodness where are you oh hello blanche now is Blanche, is she a tropical cutie? No, no, right? She's an ostrich, never mind. Never mind, don't look at me right now. <laughs> She's an ostrich, I leave. Listen, I got her like in the same, I put her in the same box as Julia because they kind of have like the same model. And I was like, oh yeah, Julia, like a peacock, like she could fit, but no. But no. Yeah, she's too fancy. Exactly. For Florida, too fancy. <laughs> and Ella, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey Raven, I have three villagers I'm hoping will leave soon. Cat Tipper and Avery. Tipper is cute. I would like a squirrel instead. I am manifesting that they all get thought bubbles very soon. I hope you can get the ones you want. Okay. I'm French. I have health care. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm jealous. No, I don't want to go to work. Why am I doing this? That is so funny. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And Livy Crossing, thank you so much for the super chat. If you became a Squishmallow AC and K-pop channel, I think my autism would explode. I would flatline. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got two out of three, you know? We've got two out of three. So, I hope you're enjoying that so far. And Laura, thank you so much for the super chat. OMG, another stream. Do you know Mira the Villager? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do, I do. And Callie, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm getting my hair dyed pink money pieces tomorrow. That sounds so fun. That sounds so fun. I think I have thoughts about it. And if I ever was going to dye my hair, I think I would do split dye. I don't know if that's like a trend from 2020 that I'm just like hanging on to. But ever since I like ever since I've seen all the split dye stuff and it was super popular, I haven't let that go in my head. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what I want. So, oh my goodness, it's Roswell. <laughs> what a coincidence. Wow. Oh my goodness. Y yeah, we could have them on two islands, besties. We could have them on two islands. I mean, like, he would fit. Alligators on, on the Florida island, but I think I want a cuter alligator. <laughs> I just got Roswell. Nice. Nice. Oh, Billy Blue, happy birthday. I hope you have a fantastic birthday. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> Split die would be so cute. I know. I always I always think like would just dyeing half my head pink and then just leaving the other half like my natural hair color be weird? Cause that would be less maintenance, right? have like brown and pink and i love the brown and pink color combo but i don't know if that would be weird like it wouldn't look like finished or something i don't know what a coinky dink i know <laughs> roswell's so cute low-key love the coloring he reminds me of dark chocolate and white chocolate Ooh, like a little swirl yeah i totally see that <laughs> do you have a plan for this island no not at all not at all <laughs> But that's how we make the best islands, you know? Just with no plan. Just one brain cell and no plan. 
<laughs> do i like melanie martinez have you listened to her new album it's so good i'm obsessed i have never listened to any melanie martinez songs but it definitely seems like my kind of thing that i would like you should go with your natural hair it's already dark it would look very pretty thank you thanks cursed craving roswell chocolate <laughs> yeah there we go we have two cursed cravings today because that one's really good too we could either have your choice roswell chocolate or the the sleeve the eyelash sleeve sleeve eyelash <laughs> where were you in 2012 um depending on the the month i was either 11 or 12 and most likely didn't have a phone or anything <laughs> and we have cookie she's cute we're gonna go though feel like you would look great with it being highlights Ooh. some low highlights some little chunky highlights <laughs> child raven yep yep give cookie a kiss kiss from me she's adorable Mwah. that was for you cookie that was for you eyelash sleeve please <laughs> also ordered stuff off of depop i'm ex ex excited and nice i've been looking at um hello kitty like baby tees on depop they're so expensive they're so the cute ones are so expensive Mm -mm 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 -mm. And let's go. Like Draculara slash Arya from Pretty Little Liars ones? Yes. I know Draculara. I know hers. Her hair. <laughs> that would be super cool. One day. I don't know. I'm like very big on like low maintenance. So hair dye, I'm always like, ugh. I don't feel like dealing with that. <laughs> and Sunflower, thank you so much for your super chat. I'm so sorry I missed it. I'm doing Kid Core next. Any name ideas? Let's see. I'm always a big fan of like nostalgic names for like a Kid Core Island. So I start to think of like what toys did I play with as a kid? Like what things did I have in my lunchbox for school? Lunchbox itself is also a really cute name. Um, that kind of stuff. I like to really make it personalized kind of. Oh my goodness, it's Felicity! We are just getting villagers from 30 Day Challenge Islands. This is hilarious. She was on my Spring Core one. Moshi Monsters, yes. Sunny D has been an amazing one. I wish if I could edit the name of this Florida Island, I would probably make it Sunny D. <laughs> because it just fits so well. And Sunny D actually does have nostalgic memories attached to it. Whenever we would go to my, like, great aunt and uncle's house, we would go to their house a lot for, like, Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner. Um, like, in my childhood, my great aunt would always get Sunny D for, like, the kids. That was, like, the kids' drink. That's what we would have. So, and that was, like, the only time I would ever have it because my mom didn't really buy it. She would just buy us Capri Suns. So, uh, the only time I ever really drank Sunny D was at my great aunt's house on holidays. <laughs> and it was so delicious. Oof, so delicious. And Froggy Fan, thank you so much for the super chat. Will the Froggy Boba pins ever be back in stock? Sadly, no, just because they were a limited edition, like, run. Um, we only ordered, like, we only bought a certain amount to have made. And then once those sold out, they were just gone. And recently, we did get, like, a random... Like, they found a random box of extras in, like, the warehouse, so I put those up for sale. But I'm hoping that we have a new enamel pin design in the future, because I really like enamel pins. So I hope that I will make, like, a new design, new fresh one. <laughs> okay, we have a good sir, Lucky. Hello. Hello. Are you going to watch the new live-action Barbie movie? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave. Sorry, Lucky. And we go. He's creepy cute. I love him. In French, he's called Ramses. Nice. Am I gonna watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I don't know. Do you have to, like, play the games to understand what's going on in the movie? That's so funny. I'm literally drinking Sunny D right now. Please share. 
please pour pour the rest of stop drinking pour the rest of your cup in an envelope and send it to me thanks <laughs> i have a bunch of the older barbie movies on dvd oh, those are some treasures those are some treasures i used to be obsessed with the princess and the popper one um i always forget the name of the one where it's like a bunch of small children and they i think it's barbie and the 12 princesses i think it's that one and they have that like underground like thing that they go to like under their bedroom or something I think. Maybe I'm just, like, imagining stuff. But there was, like, a bunch of them. There was a bunch of, like, little, little mini Barbies. And the 12 Dancing Princesses. Yes, I think it was that one. I think so. Right? Like, they had to do, like, a certain sequence of, like, jumping on things to, like, open up the secret thing. Is that what, I, is that what I'm thinking of? Am I imagining it? <laughs> okay, Marina, bye. I don't want you for this island. Like, I, that feels like a, mer a memory that's, like, very deep in the back of my brain. Like, the very bottom corner. <laughs> I love the Swan Lake one and the fairy ones. Yes. Love the fairy one her where her best friends were fairies. Bratz Baby movie? I did not watch that. Sounds like it's incredible, though. Claudette, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Welcome to the pod. Thanks for splashing it. I love Barbie movies. I wish I could just, like stream the barbie movies and we just have like a movie watching stream i would get copyright struck so fast we'd be like five minutes into it my whole channel would be like gone barbie and barmaid tale was the only barbie movie i watched as a kid i don't know if i watched that one i'm sure it was fantastic i'm sure it was great wait is that the one where she turns into a mermaid i don't think i watched that one as a kid but i think i watched like a commentary channel like react to it <laughs> i'm actually sleeping with the barbie fairy topo cover right now that what are the coincidences <laughs> okay so throw a movie party ah yes let's just get demonetized and copyright struck <laughs> pico all right good good pico goodbye <laughs> the barbie movies are so cursed looking back but they're so iconic true True. Did I see the Mario movie? Yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. I just watched Barbie and the Twelve Dancing Princesses before the stream for nostalgia. What? What's the coincidence? It's only the bedsheet that fits the small cover I have on the top of my blanket. <laughs> nice. Make a Twitch and stream it over there. Does Twitch, uh, does Twitch just not care? Because that's hilarious. Oh, and Eden, thank you so much for grabbing the mug. I appreciate it. How to have to watch it? Wash it first. Yeah. When I got my mug in the mail, I opened it and it was wet. I was like, "What happened? Why is my mug wet?" <laughs> I think it was probably like delivered in the rain or something, and then it got like slightly wet. But like the inside, I was like, "What? Okay." <laughs> Like, like, just slight, like, a little, like, couple drops of water. Yeah. I think you watched Curtis Connor. Uh, I definitely watched Curtis Connor watch some of the Barbie movies before. I'm not sure if it was the mermaid one. I think I watched him react to, like, the 12 dancing princesses. I think. I think. They don't care whatsoever. I literally have watched all of Total Drama Island on Twitch with streamers watching it too. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Okay, Twitch. <gasps> okay, besties. Here's the crossroads. Here's the crossroads. I don't like his little shirt. I'm not a fan of it, but we can always give him a different shirt. Okay. Is this who we get? Is this who we get? Take it, take it, get that croc. <laughs> I mean, his name is Boots. Like, what a wonderful way to keep the legacy of Boots the Cockroach alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> Madeline, thank you so much for the 18 months. I'm like sitting with my froggy crossing plush and eating an Nutella sandwich. Hope you and Quack and PRP are doing good. Love you so much. Thank you, Madeline. And no worries. Enjoy your sandwich. 
Yes, yes, take him. Give him a fashion store. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Been craving Zaxby's. Madly craving Zaxby's. All right, we'll grab boots. We'll grab boots. He's a jock. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> give him a white tank top. I should give him a green tank top. Well said, well said. Give him a Gatorade store. <laughs> maybe, maybe. If we find some Gatorade custom designs. Alright, we got boots. Only took me 40 minutes? Wow. Wow. Wait, okay, hold on. Now that we got boots, I have to text. I I have to text my boyfriend what I'm getting from Taco Bell. Because we're getting Taco Bell tonight. Okay, what do we get? What does everybody want? Lacey, thank you so much for the super chat. Why did I think he was a lazy? I, I truly don't know what any villager personalities anymore are. That sentence didn't make sense. You know what I mean. I don't know anybody's personality anymore. Like, I just forget or I just don't bother to remember. I don't know. Have fun having diarrhea. You know, funny thing, like, I, I get the talk about memes about diarrhea, but I never have any issues. I don't know if my stomach is just, like, chill like that, you know? But I never have issues. I get, I get, um, talk about all the time. Okay, um, I'll get the cravings box again. All right, well, we got our villager. I'm excited. With Pepsi. If Taco Bell carried Coke products, it would be over for me. It would be completely over for me. Give him a swamp and have him hold competitive races. A lot of mud and water for the jock croc. Yeah, there we go. Ask for spicy lashes. My Taco Bell's getting remodeled. They took the whole building down. Oh my goodness. Not the whole building. Oh my goodness. Can I please get some cheesy potatoes a lot to Supreme? Also get the uh, sauce. Wait. Pablo sauce? I haven't heard of that. I hardly have issues with Taco Bell either and I have IBS. <laughs> Maybe we are just the chosen ones. I don't know. It is so empty. I know. I started destroying stuff and then I just never finished. So I guess for the rest of stream we can just keep destroying I guess. Yes, we are drifting. The drift has gotten significantly worse. Come on, do it. Do it. I dare you. Come on. Of course, when I'm trying to showcase the drift, it doesn't want to work. I know Leapfrog looks so sad. Let's make it happy again. Let's make it happy again. Um, but speaking of making things happy again, let's make our bodies happy again with some water because we've been 40 minutes me longer than 40 minutes without water and we gotta fix that so let's do a hydration check if you haven't been to one of these before we are going to grab our beverage hopefully you have one nearby we're gonna wait for that timer to hit 30 seconds and once it hits that 30 second mark we will all take a sip together because those are the rules and you must follow them anyways are we ready are we ready let's go ahead take a sip I have, like, no water in here. Alright. Great job, everybody. Great job. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I refuse to update this switch. <laughs> I'm British and never had Taco Bell. Apparently we have it, though. You should try it. You should try it. I have no drink. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, hey Raven, just want to get the- or I really want to get the daily routine stickers. Do they come in all one big patch or separately? They come on a sticker sheet. Here, I actually have one. Right here to show you. I'm sorry it's not very clear in the listing picture. I think I'm going to update that with my own picture. It actually is quite big. So these are like fairly large little stickers. Um, that's how it comes. Focus. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. There we go. That's how it comes, and even the daily routine text up here is also a sticker. So yeah, that's how it comes. Merch is linked below if anybody wants one. 
but yeah, the like the picture they have for it shows them like all stuck onto a laptop, so it, it, it's not very clear. <laughs> not me just slurping up the air, oh my goodness. I guess let's go ahead and time travel to tomorrow so that Boots is just moved in, you know? Large little stickers, got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, that's my worst habit. I have like crutch words that I rely on a lot. Of course, one of them is like. One of them is, oh, not 2024, bestie. One of them is, I do, I do okay, so, little, like, those are my crutch words. Yep, yep. If I'm ever trying to like feel, like, like when you want to feel space, you know, you know is also one of them. Becoming self-aware. <laughs> Today is my, my self-awareness day where I realize all these things about myself. New Year, New Islands, right? It's not a new year, but let's just make it a new year. The Froggy Crossing game. I should just uninstall that. I hate that the Froggy Crossing game is just, like, right here. Like, why is it Splatoon 2, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Fantastic Games, and then just... That. <laughs> I remember when you were just starting slash in the middle of Leapfrog. Ugh. I can't believe it's been so long, right? Like is the worst for me because it's like genre in French and I say it all the time to the point it's annoying when I tell a story. Oh. Did I say that correctly? I'm gonna translate that. Mm -mm -mm. We also need to get Bia off the island. Off of the island. And Jayla, thank you so much for the super chat. I have an all cat island. Lolly, Kiki, Punchy, Tanky, Rosie, Mary, Pearl, Mitzi, Raymond, and Olivia. That is so cute. I love, I love islands that are like that, where it's like a theme of like villagers. Absolutely not. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Mathilde, tell me, tell me how to properly say it. I'm so sorry. I will make, I will make my best effort. All right, Boots, you're here, you're here. I do need to keep Tangy for Tropicore, I know. Thankfully, we will keep her. So, like, she's not really a one that we have to worry about. But knowing me and knowing my luck, she's going to be the one that has the thoughtable, like, so much. <laughs> Cutely eats my tropical tie-dyed fruit roll-up in Spirit of Tropicore Island. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know they had tropical fruit roll-ups. Yum. Yum. I thought Leapfrog was over. Technically, yes. Technically, yes. But we are flattening it. And we're going to use it as a new base for a new island. As a new island. I guess let's put away the inventory. That sounds right. That sounds right. Are you keeping ketchup? Um, probably not. Probably not. Although... Like, ducks? Ducks do fit. I mean, we have ducks. We have ducks, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> if I was gonna have a duck, I'd probably get someone who's, like, more on the neutral side, I guess. Tropical diet fruit roll-ups are bussin'. They just kind of taste sweet. They don't really have a flavor. Interesting. Interesting. Don't worry, it's a hard one because it's French and German sounds. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna practice for you. I'm gonna practice it. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go paste it in my notes. I got this. Next week I'll have it down. <laughs> okay. I suppose, like I said, let us flatten more. Where should we start? Oh, money tree. If I shook that, all the money would disappear. I'm trying to think. Because, like, I don't know what the layout of this island is going to be whatsoever. I don't know if I should just, like, make it totally flat. But then, like, is that a pain? I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll check on your homework. I got this. I got this. Tomato can be the owner of the tomato soup restaurant with grilled cheese. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> 
bill molly and anchovy are really cute options for ducks and burrs yeah definitely molly's always a cutie i feel like molly just like fits so many themes like there's just some villagers that it's like you're perfect anywhere you're perfect anywhere okay so i think let's just start in the very back right corner i guess there's still so much stuff back here so let's just do it let's just do it are you keeping stitches you spent so long on him uh, i think i think we're not gonna keep him i know it's painful but i just have to i have to let go i have to let go i don't know i don't know it's like he doesn't really fit i think i have other villagers i'd rather have instead of him you don't need to flatten all of it i don't but i'm also afraid that like if i don't flatten all of it i'm gonna use whatever terraforming that i already have i'm gonna use that and then i'm gonna end up creating like a very similar layout to leapfrog you know what i mean i'm gonna be like oh this cliff is already here i might as well build on it and then it's gonna look like the same map as leapfrog minus the froggy head <laughs> i just want it to be totally different you know i don't want it to be the same uh mix guys thank you so much for the five months happy five months it's also my birthday tomorrow <gasps> enjoying the vibes and also the craving is immaculate so thank you thank you and happy early birthday i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day i hope it's the best day ever <laughs> love tropical it's so cute yes yes also give bob his poop back oh absolutely absolutely are we losing the leapfrog da eventually that's something i haven't decided on yet have not decided so that is still a question up in the air <laughs> kitty cat thank you so much for the super chat hey raven how to decorate a spring core island let's see so the spring core island i did see like i do have experience with spring core but very little because the one i did i could not use nintendo online so i didn't have access to a lot of items basically what i did was a lot of flower fields a lot so i would definitely recommend flower fields and i would say you know lean into those springy colors do like yellow and pink and kind of like pastels and stuff like that um and just like a ton of ton of cute flowers and really i feel like that's basically spring core in a nutshell i should probably bring the storage shed with me shouldn't i i probably should flattening is satisfying but strenuous at the same time yeah that's true you can always come back to your leapfrog island tour video that's also true that's also true i mean i'm gonna have like we okay we did leapfrog we did storybrook and then we're also doing the 30 day island so like there's a bunch of islands in between this one i feel like if you wanted to see leapfrog's da and like actually go to it you probably would have already you know i feel like there's not a lot of new people coming and like discovering leapfrog and being like oh let me go visit the da i don't know i could be wrong though i could be wrong <laughs> but i feel like if you wanted to see the da you probably already did and then if you really want to see it you can just look at the video dahlia crossing is doing a really cute spring core slash grandma kid core island so i'd highly recommend checking her out for some spring core inspo oh yes absolutely absolutely that sounds so cute so cute talk to bob okay i need to get him his poop excuse me sir no zoomies for you i wonder if something fun will happen today it could any old second any time now i'm so excited what a way to to live life love him <laughs> am i gonna get lily i feel like yes i feel like yes because we have to have a frog on every island you know so the frog for this island will probably be lily okay so let's be smart about this and we'll put the storage shed here <laughs> also started a second island and it'll be based on a small coastal town i always go to that sounds so cute that sounds so cute when are you doing floater core probably we're probably gonna get started in june i definitely want to make like a where's my ladder why are all my tools always missing 
I definitely want to make like a like a mood board. I feel like that'll be really fun. Okay, where is where is it? I mean, I guess I'll use the ladder kit, but okay. I feel like you should make the island completely plain and start complete fresh, like delete all designs as well too. That's kind of the thing that I want to do. I know it's kind of excessive, but I feel like it's just easier for my mind to have like that blank slate. Okay, this does not want to work. Hello? I'm begging you please do jail with crazy Florida people in it. We could do a jail with like gyroids, but like the funniest, like goofiest looking gyroids. That could be really funny. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, can I get on these cliffs or no? Is is that allowed? Okay, there we go. Look at all these green moms. Wow. Yes, please. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm too lazy to go down to my storage. Please avert your eyes. I am about to commit a crime. Don't please don't look. Please don't look. I'm so sorry. I'm so and I don't even have a shovel. I had to go to my storage anyway. That was that was for nothing. That was for nothing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'll be incarcerated in your own Florida jail. <laughs> I deserve it. I deserve it. Yep. Yep. Where's my hoodie from? I got this from Target a while ago. I don't know if they still have it. <laughs> Brave and bad, go to jail. A senseless crime. Lock me up. Lock me up. I don't need this right now, Joy-Cons. I don't. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> you know, I, I don't blame you. I It's warranted. I warranted. <laughs> Breaking Florida woman eats own child. Oh my god. Call the police. That's illegal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love how they give me like five, um, what's it called? Five energy as well. <laughs> the whole chat just screaming at Raven. I know. I brought it upon myself. It's my own fault. It's okay. Go to jail with Violet. I'm a menace to society. Okay, listen. On this very island, I have villagers, like, committing also Kurobi snack crimes. Okay? I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. We're drifting real good. After two years of being low battery now, <laughs> they unionize and are going on a strike. <laughs> I, you know, I also don't blame the Joy-Cons. Poor Joy-Cons. Okay, so that's that. You know what? I'm gonna have to fill in that water, probably. Yeah, let's do that. Ugh. What? Were you the mastermind all this time? No. No. Mm -mm. Apparently I've watched you for two years now. My first video I saw was frog villager hunting and it's so funny. I'm still watching you villager, villager hunt. Oh my goodness. That was like... I think that was the first video to like really blow up a little bit for me. It's such a terrible video too because like I at least I think if we're talking about the same one like the music is so loud in it or like the game volume is so loud. I remember trying to watch it recently and I was like what is this? What was I thinking? That's not the most convincing no. No. I was not the mastermind that better <laughs> it's a great video it's nostalgic okay I'm, I'm glad I'm glad there's some nostalgia 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 in it oh my goodness kind of suspicious what what are you talking about I've never committed a crime ever in real life or an animal crossing never never done absolutely anything criminal activity related I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> 
Just make a new ladder? I'm too lazy. We always knew, Raven. That's what a criminal would say. <laughs> no. Do not bring up the silly bands. Do not- that's- Do not bring up the silly bands. <laughs> Don't use the silly bands for, against me. I have- There's like a list? What are you talking about? There's not a list. There's- what list? Let me see this list. <laughs> the silly band incident was a regrettable incident that I have in my mind redeemed myself for, okay? So we don't need to bring it up. <laughs> Gonna make you eat Fruit Loops as your punishment? No! Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you so much for the super chat. What build should I do for my tropical island? Ooh, you should definitely do like a like a summer pool. Like have like a nice pool area with like beach chairs and stuff like that. Palm trees everywhere. That would be super fun. <laughs> you just ate a humble citizen. What do you mean? What do you mean? If it's a citizen. Why does it have a little serving dish icon? Huh? Huh? That's mixed signals. <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably gonna start posting gaming videos on my other channels. Wish me luck. Oh, good luck. I hope you have a blast. That's murder. No. What murder? Murder is illegal. Cannibalism. Eat a bread tag as punishment? Not again. <laughs> Not again. Can we see the current map? Sure. It's probably like half destroyed. Yeah. 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 Oh, you know what I was thinking? I did have this idea for something a little bit strenuous to do for Florida Core. I'm going to move on from the my list of crimes if you guys don't mind so we're gonna move on from the from the crimes <laughs> um i was thinking it would be kind of cool to have like some cliffs some terraforming like and we make it in the shape of florida you know i don't know if i could pull that off but i think that would be cool we can't forget the violent crimes you i mean you cut you can you can, if you won't forget the crimes. You know, that's a different story. Can and won't, or can't and won't, are, are totally different. Totally different. <laughs> totally different things. Yes. <laughs> that would be cute. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if I can I can pull it off. I don't know how to exactly do that. I'll have to find like a pixel graph of like Florida or something and then go from there really. She's manipulating us. What do you what do you mean? What do you mean? I <laughs> me just gaslighting my audience live on stream. I never ate a Kurobi snack. What are you talking about? You must be imagining it. <laughs> I'm feeling threatened. No. <laughs> uh. Be a rebel, eat another one. I mean, if I if I need to. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. <laughs> ML, thank you so much for becoming a tadpole member. Welcome to the pond. Thanks for splashing in. I've never committed a crime. Being in court for crimes and politely asking to change the subject. Yeah, like, hey judge, can we just move on? I don't really feel like talking about this anymore. I'm good. Like, I'm kind of done. <laughs> and uh, Byron, thank you so much for the super chat. Audi, Florida, Florida, Flora, June, and Faith are very tropical. I think we're definitely going to get Audi. I've always liked Audi and I've just never had a reason to like grab her. So I think, I think Audie's definitely going to make the cut. I think Flora may end up making the cut because like flamingos, duh. Um, Faith potentially, June potentially, we'll see. We'll see. Gaslight gatekeeping but not girl bossing. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
And Sharon, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Oh, welcome to the pond. Thanks for splashing in. <laughs> Apologize with tears. I do the typical, the typical YouTuber apology. I sit down with the camera and I like go sit down in my chair and it's like completely quiet and I just go. <sighs> and then it like cuts and I'm like, so we have to talk. You know, and then I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else YouTuber apologies go. I just know that that's the meme. <laughs> I feel like Bud would be a cutie villager to have. He'd be that stereotypical surfer jock dude. That could be cute. That could be really cute. Hug Quack while crying. Yeah. <laughs> like he's just off screen and I start crying and he's like, like comforting me. <laughs> and I just leave it in the apology video. I'm just like, don't cut it. The thumbnail has to be tears. Yeah. Oh, what's what's the dramatic title for the apology video? It needs to be something like kind of um vague, but like dramatic enough that people click on it. Please make it a short. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if I can do fake tears. I'm not good at like acting or whatever. I can't do that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Sharon, thank you so much for the super chat. I would still love to send you a custom whenever you have a chance to respond to my Insta message. Oh, Sharon, definitely. Did you DM me? I did look for your message. I didn't see it, but maybe it's just buried in there somewhere. So I will double check. <laughs> Holding myself accountable. I'm sorry, guys. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it should have never come to this, but dot, dot, dot. My truth? I made a grave mistake. So dot 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 something happened. <laughs> Here's the truth. <laughs> okay, Sharon. Yeah, go ahead and send me another. Maybe it just got buried, so I will double check. <laughs> I've made a severe and continuous lack of judgment. <laughs> Have to be honest with you all. I have something to tell you, dot dot dot. I regret it. We need to talk. My truth is really funny. <laughs> we are holding you a cannibal. That's amazing. Frogs and honesty. Frogs and honesty. <laughs> about, the le about the recent live stream. I'm sorry that I disappointed you. I will grow and learn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've made a huge mistake. I never should have done this. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> Holding myself accountable and my truth are like so funny because they're so real. Like it's so true. Like that's literally what YouTubers always title their apology videos. <laughs> The ending of the apology video is just you dramatically taking off your headphones and getting up and walking away and the video ends. Yes. Oh yeah, we gotta add the drama to it, you know? We gotta show that like we did minimal editing, like there's no background music, um, no zooms, no cuts. We leave in the sobbing, we leave in the tears, we leave in me blowing my nose because I just care so much about this apology that I need to get the video out as soon as possible. Like, no editing. No editing so you can see all of my crying and feel bad for me. <laughs> that's literally what they do. I swear. That's literally their mindset when they do it. <laughs> Ask ChatGPT to write your script, right? <laughs> well, I certainly missed something coming in late. Basically, okay, if anybody just joined and is confused, um, I ate a Kuropi snack earlier, so everyone was calling me out on my criminal activities, and then um, we were just joking that I need to release an apology video for eating the Kuropi snack. So we were just joking what my apology video for the Kuropi snack crime would be like, and we we're just making fun of YouTuber apologies. <laughs> addressing the rumors, addressing the truth. Cut some parts where you start fake crying and then dramatically look back and push your hair behind your ear. Like, I'm sorry, I was just crying. <laughs> like, we couldn't wait until I finished crying. We had to film, like, while I'm crying. Mm hmm, mm hmm. 
Oh my goodness. The truth, emotional. I did something, a bunch of sad emojis, apologies, a heartbreak emojis. <laughs> my truth was still the best name for it, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Get the present? Where's the present? I don't have a slingshot. I'm sorry. Just cut some onions right before. Oh, oh, speaking of cutting onions. Okay, okay. We have another quack incident that we need to discuss. I'm sorry, we have to move on from the apology video, although I am enjoying this conversation. We have things to discuss. Okay, so, as we all know, as we all know, when you chop onions, you cry, right? Because they are so, like, th the fragrance. The fragrance, they are very strong, whatever. So, whenever I chop onions, usually I end up, like, you know, getting tears and it like burns my eyes and everything and I have to like step away and I gotta wipe the tears. I'm like, oh, this is so annoying. So I I was making dinner like the other week and I started doing that and I'm like, oh, like this is like, this is so bad as I'm like wiping my eyes because it, it stung so badly. So then um, Quack is sitting on the couch and he's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, well, I was cutting onions. So it's like burning my eyes. Like I'm crying because of the onions. And he's like, that's not a thing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And mind you, I don't, I still don't know if he's messing with me or if he's serious. I don't know. I truly don't know. Sometimes he will like mess with me and just, I, I, I can't tell if he is or isn't. I don't know. So he's like, that's not a thing. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, you're just making that up. Like, he's saying it like kind of serious, but also like kind of like laughing a little bit. And I don't know if he's laughing because he's messing with me or I don't know if he's laughing because he's laughing that I'm dumb because I think that chopping onions makes you cry. So I'm like, what are you talking about? It's totally a thing. It's totally a thing that you cry when you chop onions because they like sting. So he's like, no, it's not. And we're just like arguing about that. I'm like, are you messing with me? And he's like, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. So again, I d he might be messing with me. But I'm like, okay, get over here then. Like, come, I'm, I'm still chopping onions. Come and get your eyes watered, you know? So he walks over. He puts his face, this man puts his face right up against the chopping board. And I start chopping and like moving the onions around, trying to get like the, the spiciness up to his eyes. No reaction. No reaction whatsoever. Doesn't, doesn't have a single tear. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do absolutely no reaction. And me over here, I have such a strong reaction to it. I thought the onions were very pungent and spicy. So I'm like, who are you? Who are you? Like, is he immune? Is he messing with me? Was he trying to mess with me and prove the point so hard that like he just sucked in all the pain? Like, I have no clue. I'm, I'm befuddled. I'm baffled. I don't know. No reaction. No reaction. Oh, my camera. Sorry. <laughs> I feel so strongly about this. This is how hard I've been gaslit. Oh, wow. It's really dead. Hold on. Not everyone's affected by onions. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> this conversation, I was speaking too many facts. Okay. Some people are more sensitive than others. I'm very, very sensitive. Same. But, like, no reaction at all? It Like, is that possible? I've heard of that wearing contacts helps, so if he wears it, then maybe that. No, sadly, unfortunately, he was not wearing contacts. He was just there with his raw eyes. Raw eyes. Up against the onions. I don't know. So, okay, but regardless, regardless. If he doesn't have, like, if he's immune to it, that's fine. But I still don't know if he was messing with me by saying, what are you talking about? That's not a thing. Because, like, it's a thing, you know? It's a thing. So, does he just, did he just grow up his whole life immune to it so he doesn't think it's a thing? And does he genuinely believe that I'm making it up? 
Or does he know it's a thing, and he knows that he's immune, so he knew that he could gaslight me and, like, mess with me and say, it's not a thing, what are you talking about? Look, I'm, a, like, a no, no reaction for my eyes. That's also where I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Shelby, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Welcome to the pond. Thanks for splashing in. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Um... I feel slightly gaslit. <laughs> so, I'm gonna ask him again. I don't know. Text him and ask him. I gotta ask him IRL because he can easily mess with me on text, you know? <laughs> this is where you learn to gaslight us. No. No. <laughs> oh yeah, that was totally gaslighting. There's no way. <laughs> He froggy crossed the line. That's hilarious. I'm gonna start saying that. So yeah, he usually like doesn't. He usually doesn't mess with me like that extreme. Like the only times where we've had like silly, not even an argument, but like where we're going back and forth, like no you, no you, no you, is that and the dress, like the black and blue or golden white dress. He swears up and down that it's, you know, gold and white, which it's not. And every single time that we talk about it, I'm like, you're like, just say that you're messing with me. Just say that you're messing with me. And he starts like cracking up. So I'm like, are you messing with me? But then he's like, no, it's definitely gold and white. So I don't know. He has very few like long cons where he like continuously messes with me about something. It's only those two things literally just those two things okay i guess let's finally make a ladder um maybe i dropped it actually maybe, is it by my entrance is this it vaulting pole wouldn't you know he's mastered the art of gaslighting you <laughs> i mean i can usually tell when he's messing with me and again for the most part if he does mess with me like, he'll just start cracking up later and, and just admit it. But for the onions and for the dress, he never admitted it. So that's why I'm like, do you de genuinely be believe it? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Girl, get your joy cons fixed. I swear I'm going to. I swear. Manipulative boyfriend apologizes to former cannibal not clickbait. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, Jeffrey, we did hunt, and we got boots. We got boots. I still have three stamina or energy. I don't know what to use this for. My eyes water a lot due to smells, dry erase markers, sharpies, when I see blood, etc. But I am immune to onions. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. And B-Boy, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I wear glasses because I need them. And I know you do too, but when I cut them, I'm wearing them and it helps a lot. I have it where it makes my nose run. Try putting a damp towel next to it. I heard about it. Mm. I do wear my glasses while I chop them, but they just don't help, sadly. Maybe my eyes are just extra sensitive to the, to the onions. I don't know. Are we getting rid of Leapfrog? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> I missed the cannibal story. Please explain. Um, what do you- No story. No story. I didn't commit any crimes. I don't know what people are saying. It's just, you know, wild stories these days. People saying that I ate a Kurobi snack or something ridiculous like that. I would never eat a Kropi snack. I would never, ever eat a Kropi snack in my life. No, no, no. I, I didn't. No. <laughs> no, no, you don't need to rewind the stream. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now act offended that we accuse you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to do the, the typical YouTuber apology of apologizing for something. 
and then yeah or no before i guess we have to act offended before we do the apology right right ah uh, now you're the one gaslighting <laughs> no i don't even know what gaslighting is how could i do it if i don't know what it is i will not be gaslit by a frog <laughs> Where's Peach Cam? Peach wants to be on the floor today, so... If she decides to hop up here, I'll, I'll turn it on. Yeah, basically, long story short, I ate a croppy snack because I was too lazy to go to my storage to get a fruit to move um, a tree. And then um, I had to go to my storage anyway immediately after because I didn't have a shovel. So it was literally pointless cannibalism slash murder. And then I was like, what are you talking about? It's not a crime. And then we were discussing... If I was a if I was doing a typical YouTuber apology, what would that look like? Very fun. Very fun. First do an insta live freaking out and accuse of accuse us of lying. <laughs> you know, I hate that that's an actual real world example of something that happened. You should apologize first and drastically or dramatically go, you know what, I'm not apologizing. Yeah. You apologize and shift the blame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you say, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault you took it like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Your character fell asleep and Butch sang you a lullaby? That is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Love for Pepper, thank you. Oh, for anybody who wasn't here, I did give an update on Pepper. Like in the very beginning of the live stream so we took him to the vet they didn't really know um what was causing the sneezing so they said it might be like this and that whatever so they gave him antibiotics and we're just gonna have him on antibiotics for a little while and then hopefully that'll clear it up but at least as of today he is still sneezing um thankfully like literally everything else is totally fine like he's totally normal except for the sneezing Eating fine, obsessed with wet food fine, playing with peach, playing with toys, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's literally just that he's sneezing a lot. And then he'll do like this weird head shake where like after a sneeze and I kind of feel like it's because he has snot in his mouth or not in his mouth, but in his nose and he doesn't know how to get it out. Like we can just blow our nose, but they can't blow their nose. So he does like this weird like exhale of breath through his nose and like shakes his head a little bit my tuxedo gets really bad allergies so maybe it's a tuxedo thing potentially he's never had this issues before like the sneezing so like i don't know if they can just develop it out of nowhere or all of a sudden or like later in life or something but could be i mean if it doesn't clear up with the antibiotics i i'm taking him back i'm gonna be like he's still sneezing what do i do <laughs> But hopefully he should be fine. Thankfully, at least I hope it's not anything too serious. It's just sneezing. If he's eating and drinking, I feel like that's usually a good sign. And like using the litter box okay and everything. Did they check his teeth? My cat had the same issue and ended up having a tooth root inflamed. Interesting that you say that. They actually did not check his teeth tooth root inflamed i'm gonna paste that in my notes like that was causing the sneezes hmm. okay because at the vet i had to drop him off and apparently he was a little bit of a troublesome boy because i dropped him off usually i go in with him and i'm in like the exam room with him but they said he was being a little bit difficult so for the exam they did not check his teeth or his belly because he was being kind of feisty <laughs> so that's interesting hmm he was outside recently so maybe that mine doesn't get sneezy every year just kind of randomly if it's randomly then yeah it could be that it could be something like that a few years ago my cat got in a respiratory infection hopefully that's not what pepper has i hope not i hope not pepper is spicy <laughs> He's usually such a good boy, too, so I think he was really nervous. Like, he's like a little plushy. Like, all all his vet visits has, have always been fine. He's been, like, you know, cooperative and whatever, so... <laughs> he, he was very spicy on the last appointment, apparently. Has it affected Peach? No. Not at all. Now I'm getting stuffy. 
that's the funny part like peach is totally fine so i feel like if it was something contagious she would definitely have it you know but she's chilling i know for a fact that teeth can teeth issues can cause sneezing that's so like weird i would never think that those that like teeth stuff would cause sneezing issues or he got a blade of grass stuck up his nose if he goes outside. My cat did that once. That would be a typical cat thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, he probably was stressed from not feeling good. And I took him pretty early in the morning. So he was probably like, whoa, what is going on? Um, but when he got outside, that was a while ago. So I would be really surprised if like that incident from... Like, it's been a few weeks. I'd be surprised if he only started having like issues now. I don't know. Teeth issues can impact their sinuses. Your nose and mouth are connected after all. That's true. That's true. It's just interesting that it causes like sneezing specifically. I bet it was the onions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Circling back. Maybe allergies if Peach doesn't have it. And if he's never outside, then it could be like the pollen of the air. Yeah. They do not go outside at all. At all. Um, like that, that, day, that one day they escaped that I talked about, that was like the only time they've been outside. They are strictly indoors. We didn't know my cat had severe allergies and asthma until she went outside. Hmm. Interesting. Do I let the cats go outside by themselves? Or do they have leashes or a perch? They don't go outside at all. At all. But Raven, do you go outside either? No. <laughs> That's true. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, my storage is getting pretty filled up. So we'll see how much I can fit in there. My cat had tooth issues and was sneezing a ton. She also had her ears clean and sneezed slash puked a bunch. Oh no. Okay, I'm definitely going to bring that up next time I take him. Because I don't know how long it takes antibiotics to kick in, but I've been giving them to him since Monday and he hasn't really cleared up with the sneezing, so. If teeth stuff can cause that, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. What's happening if that leapfrog was over? We're using leapfrog as as a as a new island for our new island, or for, as a as a blank slate for our new island. <laughs> My little sister's cat is allergic to chicken. He gets tiny bald spots from scratching himself. Oh no! Poor baby. The soup, yes, the soup. <laughs> well, hopefully Pepper will be fine. I'll keep monitoring him. Hopefully the medicine that they did give him helps maybe it just takes a bit but i'll be sure to keep you guys updated he's a good boy he's a good boy thankfully he's been he's been uh eating and drinking totally fine because i would be concerned if there was like no eating and drinking but that boy is still crying for the wet food every single night and eating all of it every single night <laughs> Head shaking seems like it would be a way for them to relieve discomfort. Maybe a sinus infection or ear infection. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Yeah, like I said, if the antibiotics don't do anything once they run their course, then, like, I mean, I'm taking him back. I'm going to be like, can you check again? <laughs> can you look for more things, please? Okay. Actually, we've got a decent amount of space. 200 items. Anyways, does he have like bad smelling breath? Uh, not that I've particularly noticed, but I I haven't stuck my nose in his mouth in a bit. Hope he feels better, poor baby. Yeah, thank you guys, I appreciate it. As we say in French, if the appetite is good, then everything is good. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so true. Thankfully, the antibiotics I gave him are like little tiny little pills and I was worried that he was not going to eat them and I would have to like force feed him the medicine, but I literally just give him like a very small s serving of wet food because they have to take it with food and I just literally stick the pill in there and he just eats it. 
Like, he just eats it. He's like, oh, this has, like, wet food sauce on it? Yum. <laughs> Yum. I'm like, thank you, Pepper, for not being difficult with this. He just eats it every single time. So I'm like, oh, what a breeze. What a breeze. <laughs> We're moving this weekend. Definitely worry for the cats. Oh, no. That can definitely be something that could stress them out. But hopefully they're okay. I hope it all goes well. Good luck with your move. Let me, let me know how they end up doing with it. Thankfully, Pepper and Peach were okay. I think I... Whenever we move, I've kept either Pepper or Pepper and Peach in like a locked room while we pack up everything else. And then once we get to the new place, I put them in a locked room with all of their stuff and let them be in there for a while and then let them explore the house. Pepper is such an explorer though. When we moved into like this place, he was like immediately like, let me out. I want to see everything and just like running around and jumping on stuff. He's, he's a cute little boy. My dog never liked his pills, so we put them in either peanut butter cheese or a dog treat. <laughs> I feel like even dogs sometimes can be like more picky with like pills and stuff. Like they, I feel like I see TikToks and like hear stories of like dogs just like spitting the pill out. Like eating the whole thing that you give them, but just like spitting out the pill. <laughs> like if Pepper was going to do that, I'd be like, sir, please don't do that. Oh, they're already stressed. Oh, I'm sorry, Michaela. Hopefully it'll just be temporary for them and then you all get settled and they'll be chilling again. <laughs> my dogs will eat around the food, then eat all of it, then spit out the tablet after. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I was afraid that Pepper was going to do something like that or just not eat it at all. Thankfully, no. He's a good boy. Speaking of Pepper slash Peach... I just noticed she finally walked up. Let's see if we get this on here. Thank you, Drift. Thank you, Drift. Peach Cam. Hello. Oh, it's not on. That's why. There we go. What a little baby. <laughs> Thick Drift. Yep. My cats would eat dust bunnies on the floor but refuse to eat pills. I always have to act as if I'm cooking and serving their food. That is so funny. That is so funny. You can buy pet mouthwash and put it in their water. Oh yeah, I'll check for I'll check for stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's making eye contact. Yeah, thankfully Peach is okay. It makes me feel like it has to be a pepper specific thing if she's fine. But yeah, we shall see. Anyway, CJ Crossing, thank you so much for the super chat. You can still use Karopi snacks on the 30 day island. I did think about that, but for my last island, I didn't use any amiibo cards because I would have to use the amiibo cards to get um, the Karopi snack. So I'm trying to do the challenge with like as few extra things as possible, like, and as many restrictions as possible. So, if I'm doing no Nintendo Online, no items, no DLC, I feel like I should just, you know, keep in that same theme and do no Amiibos. So, eh. We shall just, we shall just, uh, miss our, our Kuropi snacks for now. <laughs> My mom's cat has tiny dried up seaweed put on his food to help with his vile breath from eating stinky things outside. Interesting. I didn't know seaweed helps. Interesting, interesting. Next challenge. Only frog slash green items. That would be great. Amiibo only run next time. I did think about that. I did think about doing a, a challenge where it's like I can only use recipes and items that the amiibos in the campsite give you. That would be so difficult though. Like you would have to um, time travel a lot and there's the chance that they give you a duplicate recipe because i can't remember it's been a long time since i've scanned in amiibos they usually give you an item right or no you have to give them an item it's been so long i never use amiibos you have to give them an item to convince them right and then if you don't have the recipe they give you the recipe right that's how it works oh peach Lick? Okay. 
This camera quality is not that good that I use for peach cam. It really looks like she's like a little bit scrungly, but she's not. I swear, she's really soft. It's just the camera. <laughs> if you don't have the recipe of the item they want, they give it to you. That's what I thought. I don't know why I thought they gave you items. You give them a craft and they give you an item back. Oh, okay, okay. But it's usually clothes, right? I feel like they usually give you clothes. <laughs> and if they only give you clothes, that's like so impossible. Got that 2008 quality, yeah. <laughs> Making me want gummy worms? I'm so sorry. I hope you can get some gummy worms. Okay. The flowers and trees and stuff are a whole other separate thing that we're gonna have to get to eventually. But you know what we should get to right now? A hydration check. So let's go ahead and do one. I'm so forgetful about them. We are going to go ahead and do a froggy crossing hydration check. If you haven't been to one before, we grab our water, our beverage, our tea, our coffee, our soda. Hopefully water though. That's probably what's going to be best. We're going to wait for the timer to hit 30 seconds. And then we're going to ask Peach to drink from the Stanley Cup. Drink. Okay, <laughs> let's take our sip. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Good, good hydration. Good hydration. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Peach. You can't drink out of straws. <laughs> She's so cute. Does glue count? No. No. <laughs> Hydration check sponsored by Peachy. Yep. Yep. Okay, honestly, we've cleared out a pretty good chunk. Oh, you know what? We haven't done Henry's school. Henry's school. So let's get to that. So cute. Does laundry soap work? <laughs> no. I used to call it laundry sauce. <laughs> In my, like, middle and high school era of, like, trying to be really quirky, <laughs> I would call it laundry sauce. Ah, uh, yes. Does gas count? No. No. Just water. A no spending challenge. You can only get items via crafting and gift exchange with villagers. Oh. And I guess from stuff in the mail, right? From like your mom or if your villagers send you stuff in the mail. Um, you could get stuff from balloons. You could get stuff from trees. That could be like, oh... I don't know if you guys have seen, there's a YouTuber who does like Stardew content and stuff, Charlie Barley. Uh, she did, I think it was her that did, I played a hundred anti-capitalist days of Stardew Valley where you can't buy anything from like Pierre or anything. It's kind of similar, similar kind of vibe. Anti-capitalist days in Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh. And talk to your villagers and they'll give you items, yes. <laughs> that would take a long time. I feel like I would need like more than 30 days to do that. And I'm running out of natural themes to do <laughs> that don't take a lot of items. <laughs> running out. I've seen all her starter videos are so fun, right? All right. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, if we're only doing anti-capitalist days, could we could we buy from red? Or is it just no money spending at all? Oh, froggy chair. How I miss you. School is out forever. <laughs> it's so ominous. 100 Days on Dinkum was so fun and entertaining. I need to check that out. I've consumed like no Dinkum content, but it looks so fun. 
is read a capitalist write 600 words in this essay i <laughs> okay on the flip side no gifts no gifts that would be too hard my goodness the amount of karopi snacks on this island <laughs> I swear, every time we put something away, there's like two or three Kuropi snacks in here in my inventory. I'm like, didn't I just put them away? No friends, Animal Crossing challenge. Just don't talk to any villagers. No online. That's it. Has Peach always had that little mustache? Yeah, you know, yes. I never really realized until now. <laughs> it kind of does look like she has a little mustache. Leapfrog residents are now on infinite summer break. Yup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Peyton, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, material girl. How are you? When do you do the hunt? We hunted, hunted at the beginning of the stream. It was pretty short, actually. It was like the first... 40 minutes of stream basically so yeah we ended up getting boots very quickly you better not eat these kropi snacks i okay guys stop accusing me of eating kropi snacks that's just not someone of my of not what someone of my character would do okay actually i'm offended that you're gonna accuse me of such a crime wow what have i done to deserve this i can't believe it cannot believe it this is ridiculous <laughs> you know who else got a mustache beardo we don't need to we don't need to bring him up we don't need to bring him up <laughs> we've seen things no where's the evidence where's the evidence no i need i need evidence on the table okay and just so it happens, there is no table around us, so even if you had evidence, you can't put it down. So sorry. <laughs> Roll back the tapes. <laughs> no, no. I mean, even if you had any, like, don't even bother submitting it because it's not going to be, like, conclusive evidence. So just don't, just don't even bother, okay? Okay. <laughs> is that P? What? What are you talking about? This? Or this. Oh, this? This? Um... I play the fifth. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. Yes, yeah, stream is usually on Mondays. I just rescheduled it this week because I had to take Pepper to the vet. And I, like, dropped him off. And they told me that I would probably pick him up around, like, four or five. Which is, like, when I would start my stream. But, like, it was kind of up in the air, and also Quack was busy, so I had to just move it to today. <laughs> no talking to anyone but Tom and Isabel? That would be too much. That would be too much. <laughs> and Mathilde, thank you so much for the super chat. The stream is a back and forth between gaslighting us and then apologizing for your crimes. I love this unlawful energy. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yes. Man, these AIs edited Froggy Crossing eating a Kuropi snack, right? Yeah. Um, it's just deepfake footage. It's deepfake footage, so don't- you can't believe everything you see, you know? You can't. <laughs> it's AI. Obviously. Run- run it back. Run it back. Judge, run it back. Okay, so, yeah, you see- you see this little crease in my eyeball right here? Yeah, that's how you can tell that it's AI. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> uh, how's the 30 day challenge going it's going really good thank you for asking it's going good <laughs> i posted um day 10 today before the stream in case anybody didn't already go check it out or i guess go watch it after the stream and natalie thank you so much for the super chat froggy do you remember welcome to the ond of course of course how could i forget iconic <laughs> one time I accidentally said instead of welcome to the pond I said welcome to the ond 
So that was an iconic moment. <laughs> Raven, it was live. J j jokes on you! This entire stream is is pre-recorded footage and it's all AI. It's all generated by computers. It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> okay, an anti 30 day anti-capitalist run. Do you not get inclines or bridges? So you could only do like stepping stones or ladders and vines. That's so true. Cause those are like little public works projects, you know, that we would have to get from Tom. That would be, that would be, I mean, it's not that bad, but it would still kind of suck that we couldn't use them. <laughs> Waiting for the court transcript of your trial. <laughs> We're living in a simulation. Oh my goodness. And Peyton, thank you so much for the super chat. Just wondering, who did you replace? We replaced Cousteau. That's who we kicked out. <laughs> like twice if you need help, Raven. Are you being held by AI? Say beep boop boop and make a robot dance. <laughs> beep beep boop boop. I am AI. <laughs> oh my goodness. No moving buildings either? <gasps> Wait, but okay. Wait. But to place the plots, some of them- Okay, okay, after you do the first three, you have to pay money. You have to pay money to get the rest of the plots. So does that mean that you can't even get to three stars? No, but then if you can't get to three stars, then you can't get terraforming. So then how would that even- then you can't even do the stepping stones and, and stuff. I think- I don't know if- I don't know if it's possible. Unless we make an exception for um, those plots. One of those. I don't know. It's it's a little impossible. It's a little impossible. It's a little impossible. <laughs> Ray, thank you so much for the super chat. Raven Michaela is in tears right now. She just opened your package. She loves you so much. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no problem, Ray. And Michaela, if you're still in here, I, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Yay. <laughs> we, got a, we got a lot of Squishmallow packages um, being delivered like this week because of my what not live that i did selling all of my squishmallows which by the way i should be having another one of those hopefully next month so if you didn't get to come to that one then we should have another and i'm very excited so yeah i'll be selling more of my squishmallows hopefully next month and eleanor thank you so much for uh coming and welcome are we still hunting? Sorry, I just joined. We hunted earlier. We found someone pretty quick. So we've just been moving on to destroying the island. <laughs> Guys, AI is so effective. I can't even tell if Raven's human or not. <laughs> Who knows? We'll never know. Oh my goodness. Is it AI or is it not? Uh, I still have my sword shed in here. Are we still gonna hunt? I already did. It was pretty quick pretty quick in the beginning of the stream okay well the island's getting pretty empty honestly the the difficult part is going to be moving all the flowers that's going to be really annoying um i don't know what i want to do with like the buildings and stuff not sure who did we get we got boots a good little boots if an AI is based on your personality and if it commits a crime, does it mean you could be charged for the crime? No. 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 In my specific case, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> bye, Worm. I'll catch you later. And bye, Justin. Ah, uh, these look so delicious right now. I mean, cute. I meant to say cute. I would never eat a croppy snack. <laughs> Doing the whatnot live on YouTube or Discord. The whatnot lives are on the whatnot app. They are on a separate app. It'll definitely like I'll definitely talk about like the future one in a future Squishmallow video, so hopefully you won't miss it. 
first thing I got for the new island is a storage shed. Cannot cope without them. Yeah. I've not been using it on the 30-day islands. Um, even though people were saying in the comments that they wouldn't mind if I use a crafting bench, a kitchen, and a storage shed. But I'm like, let me just take it to the extreme. Let me just make things hard for myself for no reason. No reason. So I just haven't been using one. <laughs> I've honestly gotten used to it by now, like, I just- I don't even feel like it's that big of a deal, honestly. Now that I've been using the storage shed here, I might notice, but... At least on the 30-day island this whole time, when I haven't been playing any other islands, I haven't really felt it. <laughs> no problem, Michaela. no problem. <laughs> You should just commit all the crimes in a video just to cause chaos. Eat a bunch of croppy snacks, sell the froggy chairs, make a chop shrine, etc. <laughs> that would be just like pure chaos. Pure chaos. <laughs> I'm too lazy. I just refuse to walk all the way to my house. I feel that. I feel that. I'm just forcing myself to do it on the 30 day island. Just because... In my mind, I don't have any other option, even though I do. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to end up selling a lot of, like, the crops. But I will keep, like, two of each over here. So I'm just going to transfer these. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to get a shed anyway, because you have to upgrade your house in the storage. That too. That too. Um, I'm not sure. I forget which, uh, upgrade you have to get to to get to the storage shed, but yeah, I, I probably wouldn't get there anyways, so. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Bob, I love Bob. Yes. Just got here. Who did we get? We got boots. Boots. Beautiful boots. We should probably go say hi to him, huh? I should crochet croppy snacks? I would like to try. I feel like I wouldn't really know how to get all of the details, but we could try. Got my Switch to play Animal Crossing with you. Yay! <laughs> she kicked off a frog and then ate one. Chops, cor Chops Crossing vibes? That is true. Technically, this stream has been kind of that, like, chaos where we do all of those anti-froggy crossing things. I did kick off a frog last island. That's kind of like... I don't know. Is that allowed? <laughs> Hi, Boots! Ready to get swole together. This place is great, but I shouldn't be surprised since you pointed me here. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, he says munchie. That's cute. That's cute. You ate one of Cousteau's cousins. He didn't, they, they didn't, like, they didn't get along anyways. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. While I'm here, I might as well pick up all this stuff. Um, see, the other thing is I have some houses on cliffs, so we're gonna have to, like, move houses and then do terraforming and all that. Or I could just get rid of all the cliffs surrounding the house and just leave it on, like, a little tiny deserted cliff that they can't get down from and that would actually be funny <laughs> will this island be crime free now or will the legacy continue on Florila F or Florisla I don't know how to say it um great question only time will tell only time will tell <laughs> we'll see boots the roach is more iconic you know that's kind of true that's kind of true we need boots the crocodile to just you know we, you know, he's got to warm up to us a little bit. Um, can I not? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Okay. You know, you know... <laughs> Terraforming's hard. You know, I don't want to deal with that. Forget it. Forget it. I think moving houses to the beach would be best for decorating purposes. Probably. Probably. That might be the move. Oh, you know what? We can fill up this water, though. Fill this up. I admitted to the crime. I mean, my AI self admitted to the crime. Remember, this whole stream is um is is AI video. This whole stream, it's pre-made, pre-made.
pre recorded. <laughs> totally, totally. Just got out, and what's happening? We are. We are destroying Leapfrog to use it for a Florida island. So, yeah. Um, I have like a rough plan for videos starting in June, and I'm probably gonna do like more streams of like destroying and getting rid of the terraforming and all of that. And then I think my first video for the island, I want it to be a mood board. I think that'll be cute. Where is my storage shed? Where did I put it? I lost it. Where is it? Well, it's gone. It's gone. Into the abyss. Is it not in here? Sword. Frog. Okay, no. Vines. Okay. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Goodbye. Are you just gonna flatten or edit as needed? I think I'm gonna flat. Oh, there it is. There it is. I think I'm just gonna flatten it all. Because I was saying earlier, I'm scared that, like, I won't flatten it completely. And then I might be like, okay, this cliff is already here. Like, let me just use this cliff and, like, not change it. And then it ends up being, like, the same as Leapfrog. Like, I don't want it to be the same. I kind of just want to wipe it so I have, like, no like nothing to go off of you know so do i don't accidentally make it too similar to leapfrog because i want to have totally different layout totally different cliffs totally different rivers all that kind of stuff just totally mix it up so yeah we shall see we shall see most most likely just uh just completely flat let me not leave this over here again <laughs> A map check? Sure. I mean, we haven't really been doing anything to, like, the terraforming, so I don't think it really looks that different. I haven't gotten rid of any of the pathing or any of that stuff. What are we talking about over here? Crimes? <laughs> Moving on. What do you mean you've been around? Jeremiah's literally calling me out. I'm sorry, my poor boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, anyways. Anyways. Oh, Peach. Good stretch. It would be funny if you got older looking villagers and made a retirement community. That would be really cute. Get like Adobe. That would be cute. <laughs> neglect no that's not another crime no no they're fine he's fine did you see him he's fine he's totally fine he did not need me he did not need me at all he's he's fine <laughs> he's totally fine i think you should keep jeremiah for florida core he would be cute he would be cute but i think it's time for a lily resurgence you know he is not fine. <laughs> what do you mean? He's totally fine. <laughs> He's chilling. Where is he? Tell them you're fine, Jeremiah. You keep checking up on me today, huh? <laughs> He's like... <laughs> He's like, you keep checking on me. I'm not used to you being around. <laughs> Did you see the results for Happy Home Academy already? Mine said so many bugs. Jeremiah has roaches in his house because I haven't been around to clean his house which is cool okay but he's fine with it he's fine no he's fine he's fine he likes it he likes it yeah <laughs> oh my goodness I'm dying my hair tomorrow like very different from the balloons balloon oh my goodness a blue slash green spectrum that is so exciting can't wait to see it you left him in a dirty house. He graduated while you were absent. Oh my goodness. Yeah, exactly. Lazy's, Lazy's love bugs. It's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's never been better. Actually, he's thriving. He's thriving, actually. <laughs> he's a broken shell of a frog and he has roaches. 
a broken shell of a man. <laughs> uh, he's he's fine. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Let me not sell the green mugs, but I won't sell the Kuropi snack. I know everyone will yell at me. I think we can safely sell all of the bushes that are not like tropical ones. Like I think I'll keep these hibiscus ones and like these cute ones. And that'll probably be it. And bamboo. <laughs> I have you on the TV, my entire family's witnessed it. Oh no. <laughs> no. Are you thinking of making a Wawa convenience store? That's what I think of when I think of Florida. Is that not a huge thing? It is. Uh, I didn't know. Is Wawa exclusive to like a few states? I think other states have Wawa. If I'm going to make any sort of like exclusive store, it's going to be a Publix. I would make a Publix. Which I kind of want to do. That might be... We might add that onto the list. But... <laughs> Um, potentially. If we have extra room and I want to do a Wawa, we could do a Wawa. Anyways, Jeremiah, tell them you're fine. See, like, he's doing chores. He's fine. He's chilling. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. My Taco, Taco Bell should be here any second. Um, yeah. Yep. This is how I'm gonna feel after Taco Bell. I'm gonna feel like this. What does that mean? I don't know. That's how I'm going to feel. Yes, Jeremiah, get in here. <laughs> so yeah, um, 30 day challenge. We will just keep posting that. So that'll be daily episodes. Very excited. Um, we will continue with some streams of flattening Leapfrog, working on that kind of maintenance stuff and just kind of chill, hang out, talk. So yeah, very excited for that. Um, I will catch you guys later. Have a good week, Raven. See you Monday. See you Monday. Oh yeah, we will be back to our regular stream schedule on Monday, 4 p.m. EST. <laughs> You're supposed to be already full from Kuropi snacks. I never ate one. I don't know what you're talking about. Not me, not me. Anyways, I will see you next Monday to eat some more Kuropi snacks. I hope you all have a fantastic day and stay safe and stay hydrated. And I will see you later. Bye!